All right, this is the um, cheap, like $50 fuel pump for GM replacement off of Amazon. Um, this is the Humvee fuel tank. And uh, let's see, we have an L86 LT Gen 5 engine. Um, it's been running this just fine for about a year and a half now. Um, finally getting a gas gauge in, so that'll be nice instead of crawling under the car to figure that out by hand. Um, let's see, the way this is wired, and I couldn't find much on the internet, but um, the purple wire is the uh, sending signal. Like with this this gauge, it's a glow shift gauge. Um, and it just labels this as the sending wire. Anyway, that goes to the purple on this plug. Um, the other one, there's two grounds coming out. So the gray was the power input and that gets run by the engine computer to engage the fuel pump. Then the thicker black is the ground for that system. Um, that ground works just fine with this, uh, just the same. It's the other side of the sending unit. So somehow there's resistance that measures between this and this one, um, which then sends back, uh, I don't know, somehow it tells this thing how much fuel you have based on that, and uh, that's how it works. But um, the things that were weird about it, I couldn't figure out, were um, grounding the device. Um, I have this little little box here, which is pretty handy for figuring stuff out. Um, it's a little 12-volt system that uh, can supply anywhere from... Uh, I don't know, up to 30 volts, 10 amps, um, and it's pretty handy. So I highly recommend these things if you're doing any kind of project, but um, long story short, when I had it connected to the box, it worked fine. Um, I was able to power supply from here and ground to here, and it was uh, engaging the gauge properly. Then when I tried to ground through the truck, but supply power from here, it didn't work. And um, just to double check to, you know, what I thought would work is using the same wire for grounding both the fuel pump and the sending unit. Um, but the caveat to that was once I supplied uh, power to the gauge from the truck battery, so it ran a long wire with alligator clips directly from the battery to power the gauge, just like it basically will be when it's installed. And then the grounding side of it was um, ground wire back to that truck battery and sending wire still connected then that worked and it's reading correctly so i'm going to go ahead and install it that way but that is how it's wired and if you do it that way it should work just fine